All right, welcome to the program. My name is Man Kota. You are watching the TPN TV and radio network coming to you live from the United States of America. Today, we get a very interesting topic where we get for can discuss. And uh, I want for we listeners for make them listen very carefully. And um, if you get any question, you see uh, the phone number that the screen at the right side of uh, the lower bottom text. Um, the number now 480-409-4001 and we can only accept call during live broadcast. Uh, we only accept call during um, on demand or rebroadcast because I will not go there for answer you call. So anything we get for do with um, um, calls from the viewers has to be live. Now we all know say um, this week we see um, we we brought away na Al Haji uh, Al Haji Sidik Abu Bakar Samsumana um, the APC party uh, restore him back na the APC he restore in membership in full membership na the APC and uh, because of that um, I want to discuss a little bit about that within the benefits for um, Al-Haji Samsumana for come back to the APC for both the APC and for him as a personal um, person, as a person. So we all know say, Samsumana was uh, one of... Uh, oh. Yeah, we all know say, Samsumana and uh, one of... Uh, um, the people in a salon we um, don't play crucial role within uh, the confines of uh, we politics, and uh, we know say in 2015 or so I think um, it been get some friction or conflict with um, in 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 boss when uh, um, former president uh, Anes by Koroma. And uh, because of that, NAC, we na the action, um, the National Action Committee of the APC, um, then get for votes for expel Mr. Samsumana from the party. And we see a Leon constitution say any member, na the government, whether na, pol uh, na parliament or uh, na the executive, will not belong to a political party uh, automatically. Uh, that member they not supposed for serve as a, a, a parliamentarian and um, um, a president. We not to um, scholars at all, so we no know exactly what in are the technicalities of this clause now with 1991 constitution. Now Sierra Leone way and uh, talks in, um, a member of either the executive or the judiciary or whatever, uh, the legislature, we not to a member of a political party, nor qualify or continue for serve, not the government. This is very, very interesting because um, this also talk into um, why the 1991 constitution is no longer applicable in a modern society. And, uh, and the reason this way, a lot of we been support um, for making them set up a committee when uh, uh, they mean they call the CRC, the Constitutional Review Committee, for making them take a look at this constitution. Because the constitution was written in a one-party system, even though it was written for multi-party purpose, but they see the hallmark of um, one-party states, uh, dictatorial, uh, tendencies within the constitution. So now that make uh, a lot of women in support say yes, the constitution need to be overhauled and uh, remove some of the things that we not even necessary again uh, now in society. And this now one of the, the things that they we know say um, at that time there was so much tension between uh, Al Haji Abu Bakar Siddiq Samsumana and um, the APC party we um, then get for expel them. And uh, the reasons we, we know 
publicly, we don't know what's in the other reason privately, but publicly, uh, the reasons was number one, Al Haji Abu Bakr Samsumana claimed for be a Muslim. And uh, because uh, the, uh, the, the, the party find out, say, not to a Muslim at all, so na lie, na kind of uh, a deceptive tactics. The number two, um, a lie pa in, in degree, he say he get a, a master's degree, while he not get a master's degree at all. So that also na a deceptive way, way the, uh, the government of, um, <coughs> sorry, ah. The government of Hannes by Koroma alluded to um, to remove Samsumana from office, and some of we been trying to investigate about uh, some of them. Here. One of the things we we all know in terms of um, uh, whether Samsumana is a Muslim or a Christian, I think that was one of the weakest um, excuses we. Uh, we party for being presented to the people of Sierra Leone for the removal of our vice president um, because um, we don't know whether not a true Muslim. You know, necessarily means so because you go to a mosque, they go pray, people then they see you, they wear gown, so therefore you're not a true Muslim. Now, and uh, it was very, very pathetic, but anyway, you cannot re relegate. Which already don't happen, right? So, because um, according to the Quran and Islam, a Muslim na somebody where they take the shahada. The shahada na the pronouncement that uh, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad abduhu wa rasuluhu. For say there is no god but Allah and Muhammad na a messenger, na the messenger of God. That na the first steps. Where you don't say so, you don't need to say I'm uh, in front of anybody. You can say I'm within yourself because God now you know within there your heart, you understand? So, where you don't say I'm, you are a Muslim. Now, you get certain practices now where you get for um, make you a more uh, stronger Muslim in terms of faith. But that's not the main thing where you're supposed to do as a Muslim. So, for another person for tell you, say you're not a Muslim, that was just a weak. Um, uh, excuse at all on the issue of uh, the the degree way that mean talk. You know what to make a they try for bring this back for make we able get the understanding. We know the uh, I know they try for bring account for uh, you know try for ignites uh, debates way not necessary. But this is very very important because this man Sam Sumana suffered. The most humiliated, you know, tactics in the politics of Sierra Leone, and it happened for be Nawion party, na in <coughs> uh, inflicted that pain day to him. So I was so happy when the, the same party, the same people, we inflicted that uh, um, you know pain day on him, and get for carry storm back, and so that is very very important on the issue of. Um, the, uh, the degree at the time when this accusation they float around, I get for go to the White House website. On the website, on the White House website, there was nowhere where they mentioned a master's degree. On the White House website, it was a bachelor's degree. Now, in some man, I get that's not so then put um, a bachelor's degree. So that in itself is also a problem. Um, you know, that could have been one of the strongest, um, um, you know, excuse we, we lead us them for being take. But even at that, there were nowhere. There, were, there was nowhere in the uh, website where they give some smaller in profile where they mention a master's degree. And this, is, this website was controlled by the White House staff them and then they update them so if some someone have been say he gets a master's degree then they put a bachelor's degree at the time and uh, that was that was not good for some someone but i believe say the reason why they not put uh, a master's degree is because um, 
Samsumana never said he has a bachelor's degree, a master's degree. And this is just a fact, right? But in any case, he was removed and, uh, you know, sacked from uh, uh, imposition as vice president, humiliated. Um, this week, the party deemed it necessary because he applied in January for see Iwa for come back. So the party deemed it necessary for make sure say some come back na back na the party. That is a wonderful move for the party. Very, very wonderful. You know. Because Samsumana belongs to the APC party. Irrespective of what you know, the dis disagreement between uh, the leaders at the time, Samsumana belongs to the APC party. And in that essence, we want to take this opportunity for welcome Samsumana back to the party. I know saying, um, according to the Secretary General, um, um, there are still a few things for, for do for make uh, um, then uh, then go ratify them, you know. But uh, the Secretary General, when uh, Al Haji uh, uh, Fodi Yansane, don't send the letter to Samsumana, Samsumana go meet in uh, the headquarter, na free Tunde, sit down and talk. So we are looking forward for receive we brother back to the APC party. And uh, we also want to thank uh, the president, the former president, President uh, Anes Baikoroma, for the fact that uh, they all try for reconcile their differences and uh, try for bring back some smart within the party. This is important. But here is the irony. Why the SLPP are so mad? Why? the SLPP are so concerned about the internal politics of the APC party. It just feels like uh, the SLPP party, they can do their internal politics and try for, you know, do stuff them within themselves. And the APC party becomes so concerned because the, SL, uh, the SLPP, um, then they try for reshift or refocus the young attention within the young party. This is exactly the problem I see with here. Uh, why the SLPP are so mad? Because after the announcement come out in the public that Samsumana um, um, then don't restore um, na the APC party, uh, we see um, the concern, sometimes I even call them um, desperation of uh, the 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 SLPP, um, then they all over social media, um, you know, they try for denigrate um, Samsumana. You know, see how the guy don't sell out to to the APC party because the APC party now the party way being um, um, disgrace um, the Kono people and all everybody. Uh, within Sierra Leone and outside of Sierra Leone, um, they mean they mean they mean they mean sorry for them, um, they fed for them, um, and uh, now they don't go sell out again. Well, let's face the fact: the the the, the problem here is uh, uh, not necessarily because Samsumana was humiliated and that make the SLPP then then they become very angry. And vocal about this. Um, the SLPP are angry because Samsumana could potentially be um, the, the next candidate of the APC party. Potentially. And I want to make I want to emphasize some. I'm not saying Samsumana will be um, the the next candidates of uh, the, the APC party, I say potentially, because uh, we know say um, we get a, a convention coming and uh, we don't know when um, that convention they, they take place, but uh, probably next year. And uh, if Samsumana 
is now in the APC party, uh, it could be that Samsumana may get interest for contest for the flag bearership of the party. So if that is the case, potentially he could be the next APC flag bearer. And I know say, um, there are a lot of other uh, members of the APC party. We get a lot of people that way um, extraordinary qualify for be uh, members of um, a, a candidate <coughs> for the flag bearership of the, AP, the APC party. So I'm not trying to negate that part, that fact, but I'm just theoretically trying to see he could be, uh, depending on within um, the party membership uh, wants. And uh, when you look at the the data, we they available looking at uh, the way um, the demographic nature of politics in Sierra Leone. You go start for realizing. Um, Samsumana may stand a better chance of uh, defeating the SLPP party. And the SLPP party uh, know about this. And therefore, in, uh, one thing way I want for uh, me viewers and listeners, whoever is listening to this, for make them understand, you go able to know how your opponent they think by in behavior. This is very, very important. You know, your opponent, you go able to read a mind based on the way it they behave. Because then say, the psychologist then say, what the, 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 the heart or the mind about, the mouth speaks. Right? So looking at the, the reactions of the SLPP in this particular case, you go st I, I start for realizing um, this is not about uh, Samsumana selling out to the APC party. This is about Samsumana be potentially becoming the next flag bearer of the APC party in which the SLPP are going to have a tougher uh, you know, election in 2023. That the reason is where um, they, they are very, very desperate, you know, could likely be so. That's the reason, you know. And when you <laughs> when you think about that, you will realize, for say yes, indeed, um, the SLPP are exposing themselves. I think the best way, way the SLPP folks for be non do, keep quiet about this. You know, when you look at uh, some of the the text, the other stuff, the way they go on social media. Um, you know, you read the text, you listen to the audios, you see the videos of uh, the reactions of these particular issues. One thing where you go start for realize is that they said people are afraid. Remember, Sam Smana has never campaigned since the election uh, in 2018. Never campaign. Yes, you can see that once in a while in public stuff, but like that mood for campaign no. We get we other uh, brother when uh, another potential candidate, the former candidate uh, when uh, uh, Dr. Samora, where they go all over um, the country, at least reaching out to people, trying for, you know, establish uh, relationships with the people, and even to the extent, the SLPP are actually also talking about that, to the extent that uh, Samura, every Friday, is in a mosque. We, some SLPP folks and uh, my, 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 my SLPP uh, 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 friends, uh, would they make some jokes? Would they make some jokes? Uh, say, Samura don't turn a Christian. <laughs> because every, every Friday, it in a mosque. Would they make that joke be right? But they are not so much particular about Samura. They are so much desperate about Samsumana. What does that tell you? 
it tells you that the SNPP are afraid. And rightly so, because you know what? Only Samsumana na in dom in approve say he able beat the SLPP. They don't prove them. You need we all need to understand that. Samsumana at this particular time, that the only person we um uh, don't prove say he able beat the SLPP. Now in, now in this street. The SLPP then campaign vigorously in Nakono. But Samsumana beat them flat Nakono. Flat. Okay? So you see, there is a reason why the SLPP are so much desperate. There is a reason. They are not stupid. The SLPP are smart people. And if Nami, probably I will react a little bit different. I will do them covertly instead of overtly. But I will react the same thing. Uh, Sam Sumana in, 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 in his statements now at the APC, they are actually trying for deceptively argue, say, Sam Sumana, you know, get moral uh, ethics. Because if he gets moral ethics by this time, he's not supposed to even come to the APC party. That is their own argument. But the bottom line is the hidden agenda under that argument is Sam Sumana could potentially cause damage to the SLPP party, depending how It seems like the, the SLPP uh, pretend to know about uh, the APC constitution more than the APC themselves. They want to write them. But anyway, what is your reaction? Well, thank you, Mr. Mankov, for bringing me, for bringing me first. Uh, but I think I, I, I don't know. I, am I the only commentator online today? No, uh, uh, Dr. 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 Kamala Dave. I think, that I, I think none of them came before me. No, Dr. Kamala. Now you, now you first scan, Dr. Kamala. Now two, now, now two day right now, now the, now the commentary line. You right. and Dr. Kamala. Okay. Before, right. Now, I had all your explanation, uh, your breakdown of situations with the to one us coming in back to uh, APC. Um, but this is what I would say before, two or more things I would say, one or two more things I would say before I, I go into the in, inner part of the discussion is that uh, I know you are APC. And uh, I, I am a patriot. I always say that I, mean, I, am, I don't hold anybody's card. Um, but this is what I'll say to you: that um, bring in Sam Sumana as your presidential candidate for the 2023 or 2024 elections, because the fact remains that you said he is going to win the elections. Absolutely, that's what you said. Um, with all that of your explanation. Now, the second point I want to bring is that I, I want to let you know, I want to let you know that, um, uh, yeah, I want to let you know that Samsumana's uh, issue is not an SLPP issue, it's a national issue. Hmm. It's, not, it's not an APC issue coming back to power, 
It's not an SIPP issue. It's, it's, not, it's, the nation, it's the nation's issue. Whether you are EPC or SIPP belongs to a party or not, it's for the general country. The, the fact remains that um, people then say, they say, uh, uh, look who side bought your food, not who side go for them. Now, your judgment to say that SIPP, which I know is not only SIPP, the nation is concerned about uh, as I'm screwing us coming. Uh, and back to your party, I believe it is our, the nation's business because when Sam Shumana was fired or sacked by the then government, the nation stood for him, and you never mentioned that. If they stood for him and advocated for him, and more so the SNPP, uh, uh, there was a, 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 a show off on that, a showcase on that, uh, on that issue. The whole country, everybody was alarmed, everybody was uh, curious to know, and everybody was talking about it. Now, you never say uh, uh, they are afraid of, uh, they were afraid of Sam Shumana. And now when we come back, when the nation takes it again to talk about it, you are saying they are afraid of Sam Shumana. So that analogy, I don't buy it from you because you are not uh, uh, transparent on that. You should have said that earlier on, the time. When he was uh, five years ago, when he was sad, and then if you say it again today, then I will look at it as a justifiable way of saying things. So, but you so, never said that before. So, so, so and tell me exactly uh, what he not say before because I look a little bit confused. You never say before that the SLPP mm -hmm. is afraid that Sam Shumana is going to win elections, or is afraid that. Samsumana is the, the uh, uh, is more popular. You never said that. Um, they advocated. They were very angry. Everybody was uh, very angry. And well, well, at the time, listen, listen, Mr. Gabo, Mr. Gabo, Mr. Gabo. At the time, at the time, there was no election. So how can can somebody say Samsumana was going to win the election when there was no election? It, it, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean only when life is good you talk about somebody. You talk about somebody at the time when life is not good at that particular time for him, and you say what you got to say, and you say when it is good, then you become a... a well, what you been they say? What you been they say at the time in in 2015, uh, as you all know, right. that the TPN, one of, now one of the people, they were very angry because uh, at that time, I'm not so much used with Sam Sumana, but I just believe saying that's now a bad precedent for sack a vice president because that now... Um, um, uh, an abuse of power by the president. You know that, I say, I was very, very angry within uh, the, um, the party itself. I tell them vocally. Well, because now, let's go, Mr. Michael, the, 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 the people listening to us, the problem, uh, they know where I am from, and you know where I'm coming from. Um, they, so, they, so they let me understand where, where you are coming from before uh, we go further. You want me okay, at the time, oh, where, let me ask you a question, let me ask you a question, let me ask you a question. You want me at the time in 2015. Think say Sam Sumana will win election. Who can who can sense whether they uh, make uh, explain that? All right, that's not what I said. This so, is what I'm saying to you. Okay. When uh, Sam Sumana was expelled from the uh, the, the party itself, uh, uh -huh. it was an it was an it didn't say it was an internal matter. It didn't say why the SLPP are so concerned. That's our own private business. What we do here is what we do. No 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 no, no. Mr. Gabo, you misunderstand me. You misunderstand me.
national issue because even if the party expelled Samsumana, Samsumana was voted by the people of Sierra Leone. So therefore, the people of Sierra Leone then get the power for expel them from power, not to a, a, a president who had them two wrong. If And up to the, guy, the delegates or whoever you guys have, the NAC, those top officials, and they, they keep spreading. It comes to the president. Now, the issue of Sansumana, if you bring him up as a, a, a candidate, it is very good. Because that's why the people are poking their noses. And it's not like it's an internal business. Because if
I, I think, say, we have to be very careful as a political party, which we get for the trajectory where the party they go through. Now, in 2007, the result was an Eskoma gets 54.62%, while Solomon Beria gets 45.38%. Uh, that is in 2007. In 2012, the APC and Eskoma get 58.7%, while the current president, Way Madabi Obin, gets 37.4%. That is in 2012. Now, in 2018, the APC gets, uh, Samura gets 48.2%, the SLPP BO gets 51.8%. Now, when you take all them data, you try for analyze them, you find out, say, uh, is it? Hold on. You find out, say, we get, um, hold on, let me make sure. All right. We find out saying the average uh, percentage for them two political them two giant political party uh, you find out saying um, the APC gets an average of thirty eight percent. When you take all them to the try for average, um, the SNPP get fifty two point eight percent voting. So they get an edge in terms of the way people in the vote na salon. That doesn't mean the, the, the APC is popular than the SLP. No, there are so many factors as a political analyst, you get for also take into consideration their factors then they why that happened. Now, if you look at the actual average of their political party, party uh, you will find out saying the SLP gets about 37% average of voting, or well, let me say guarantee votes 36 percent actually. 36% guarantee votes. The APC gets about 27 or 28% guarantee votes. Why? And now are they the analysis get for them? We know say based on statistics, based on the data from 1996 to 2018, the SLPP never, never brought um under 36%. Now they young constituency we the south and east. Always down in a guarantee vote. If we go with uh, the, 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 the data, now a guarantee vote for them. The, SL, the APC, on the other hand, they don't get less, less and less votes in the young constituency. Less votes. And that's get for do with uh, the 1996, the 2002 elections. Now, why, why, why the SLPP is stagnant with the 36 percent? Because the reason is the South and East, especially the people that were now old, old people. Them, the old many folks, they take the SLPP as a society, a cult. The old folks, and I want to make a very, I want to be very careful and try to distinguish between that and account to that. The old folks. Now, then villages there, now the southeast, the SLPP, now a cult, now a society. Now, that make if you look at the pattern of voting in that area, then they, you will find out, say, they are not voting for the candidates. The SLPP are voting for the party. Now, that make no matter voting, I like now the, uh, the worst candidate where they put, that person they go must bring over 36 percent and i want to make a i want to make a little bit of a distinction we don't be easy say the young folks them now the southeast because of the modernization the civilization the education way they get at least and don't become a little bit of moderates you know you know for for tolerate uh, other things that i make if you look at 2012 you see, say, an school market in the road, not the area, then they small, even though it's not enough, but at least we see some kind of a bump with an Eskoma trying to make in road, not the area, then they. That's not the reason why SLPP gets 36% guarantee throughout the entire year as well with the vote national. Now, what happened with the APC? <coughs> 
This is very, very important. The APC party, then call now the union stronghold in the north and the south of the country. They are liberal people. APC constituencies are liberal constituency. The regions are liberal. And I know say some SLPP folks then go say, oh, no, lie, no, lie. No, it's true. The the data not the, not, the, not, the, not the lie. It's true. Why? Let me go back to um um the the statistics. In 2000 and uh, um 2002, yeah, in 2002, Tijan Kaba bring more um um he bring more votes now the strong when uh um um I, well let me say an escola is strong rule when now uh, Kenny Tijankaba bring more votes day now McKenny day where an escola is an escola born than than an escola and that's now a consistent pattern where I see throughout the statistics that way we don't get that together you know the APC then they vote for the candidates they are not voting for the party then they vote for the candidate. This is where the APC has to be very careful. Okay? If you get a constituency where they don't look at the party as a cult, then they vote for who is on top of the ticket. Now, and then they look in, in quality, in, in, in whatever attribute way you get, now, and then they look and they vote. Then we have to be very careful for make we get moderation. And the fact here is, there is no way where a, 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 a candidate, a presidential candidate, will win an election without the other side. This is a fact. This is not, to, not to, uh, uh, an assumption. This is a fact. The statistics already done clearly show we say no candidates no will ever win election as alone without tipping from the other side. Now that make if you want to become a presidential, a national candidate, Nasa alone, my, my advice is be moderate. Don't be tribalistic. Don't be regionalistic or sectionalistic. Because the moment you do that, you isolate yourself into a corner where they reduce the chances of winning election. Now, even if you win election, if you know govern, in a national dynamic, you they end up getting problem. That make mother beauty day. It gets problem. Okay, we all know that. Say the reason why to make mother beauty president today because there were people from the north were sacrificed because of the inept of William Party, the arrogance of William Party. They mean they talk to we. They will not be listened. Because we feel we're too popular enough. Yes, indeed, the APC is popular, but the not now a liberal constituency. You mess up, you mess up. You will know that now the election. So, Mother Bio stayed in the power today because of the North. Otherwise, there would not would not have been a Mother Bio presidency. But Mother Bio come, not necessarily directly Mother Bio, but in government, whether the people that will surround them, then come with a vengeance. You know, because they don't sit on the power for so long, hungry with, uh, you know, uh, what they say, moody, they don't moody, then they're hungry, you know, then see, say, this is a time for come with a vengeance. Instead of then come for come unite the country together, which they then do, some of them then begin to do some things the way they, they you know, um, they put disunity among people then. Now, the reason this way you see today, so Mada Bio gets very, very difficult time for unite the country. And having said that, I have to be very sincere here. This particular disunity with the CISO is not exclusively because of Mada Bio government. We as people, the APC party, also play a role. And now the reason this way, I advise me, party 2023 is coming number one we are in a disadvantaged situation number one the SLPP need only 15 percent 
then get 36% guarantee. They only need 15%. And if we not be careful, then they tip off that 15% from we even vote them. And we need about 23% before ever we go able to win election. So we have to be very careful. We have to be methodical and we have to be smart the way we play with politics. Let we not play with politics in the way we, the SLPP want for play them politics. No matter what, the SLPP, they're not going to ever lose that 36% day. Let nobody not tell you, like, say, the SLPP, then they lose that 36% day. Now, lie. Now, understand anybody who they talk to now and understand, you know, understand the dynamics of uh, salon politics. They're not going to ever go and call it. Like I said earlier, the Southeast folks them they know they vote for the person then they vote for the party so irrespective of what the party that person they do they are not looking at the quality of the leader then they look at the the party so whether na sam sumana get for be with la flag bearer na samura get for be the flag bearer na mr x or mr y mr z na then get for be the flag bearer of the apc party please if you want to make the APC win the election, be moderate. Show yourself as somebody way na kumra. That's not the only way we win the party. You understand? You have to be moderate. Now this I get. Let me bring in my commentators. Then we will get to about ten minutes. Let we. I give you now the five five minutes. Let we now talk. Um, go ahead. Um, um, we start now with doctor. Doctor, go ahead. Oh, Mr. Mankota, that's very brilliant. I admire this analysis. Um, if I can talk, um, frankly speaking, um, the SLPP is more united when it comes to elections. And I, I think that point, you, you make them very obvious. Yep. And uh, at this point in time, I think the APC, they have to do their homework. Yep. Um, if the code and non-begin brings up one or two, maybe if I bring back, uh, I don't say Alpha Candy, but maybe a big Alpha Can. Because yep. then two people here, yeah, now their money they use for campaign. First, Mr. Khan in money. And let's not be here nothing. Now Mr. Khan in money, the first two. But Mr. Khan, they have to talk him publicly. Then later on, Sam Svana. Then made them big with for full back, make it come. Yep. Then all the other aspirants that made them big them, made them come, make them unite. And made them try to bring this analysis to the table, make them get one word. Because right. otherwise, they are losing. Yep. You're right. That is unity. is a key factor here. There's no time. You don't know? I'm pumping Kuliumbo. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 Mr. Kabo, go ahead. <laughs> well, yeah, Mr. Mankota, I was very attentive, actually, not so much. But um, I'll tell you exactly areas I picked up and, uh, from where you mentioned. I know you started your analysis from 1996, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, because it was a long story that you were giving up. And uh, from 1996 to 2018 election, so whether you win or you lose, whether whatever winning votes you got put together. For instance, you just mentioned SLBB had, uh, I think, over 50 percent. Those, whether they win, they, those that were won or lost from 1996 to, to 2018, they had over 50 percent. And uh, SLBB, I mean, APC, win or lose from 1996, they have, I think you said, Thirty-eight percent. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight percent. All right, that's a big gap. Yep. And uh, you also mentioned that SLPP, whether whatever, they have a guarantee vote that is despite being in political uh, 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 positions where they will campaign to influence other people or doing other things, just at uh, um, a natural setting, they have a guarantee. 36 to 37 percent. Exactly. And the APC, and the APC has a guarantee of probably 20 something. 20, 28, 28 percent. 28 percent. Yeah. Now, 
I wish uh, the propagandists could uh, have been here to look at this analysis. And this is why we say people, not everybody should be involved into politics. Because by what you said, and with what other propagandists are saying, we are many, we we now we work, this is now the reality. We are not many. And you are few. That you are fewer than the others. So if you have the rhetoric saying, oh, now we find you, how we lose elections, because this is what I've been hearing. Because why there are other parties, political parties, when they come, um, they bring in, remember I have five minutes to, with the, oh, well, because I'll take Mr. Kamaras, because he has not much to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So when rally comes in, you will see political life. I can from the north. I never see them coming to the city. They, they far not there to do their rally. We, they only run to Twitter. And even uh, uh, Sam Sumana, we run to Twitter to go pray Fridays because that's where they are. They think they are people. And when you see them, you say, we are many. Now we buckle, now we pass. Now this is the reality for people who are listening and those who are in the media. Now we buckle, now we pass. Now, when you put the statistics, you find out that you are not many. You are even very little. No, 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 Mr. Gabo, Mr. Gabo, Mr. Gabo, Mr. Gabo. Mr. Gabo. You don't, you don't start, right. you, you don't start, you, you, what them call again? Okay. The APC party now the most popular party. I don't give you why, the reason why, why the SLPP gets advantage over us. Because of liberalism versus um, the people that way take a political party as a cult, whether na cow, na sheep, na goats, then put them. It doesn't matter where they put them. Now the party then they vote for. As long as now SLPP, now SLPP then they vote for. With the the with the, all we popularity, we now they look at the individual candidates. This now that make I explain them very clearly for let people they know say this is actually a oh, true. And I, I, I got you. At the end of the day, Mr. Mankota, it's the vote that matters. So you are uh, is, is popular in disguise. Okay, and that's, that's how, how things work. There are people who don't talk, and I often hear they say that that was a way too much stagnant, we don't run, not take care. I understand uh, APC now. We all come on, Nadi, Nadi, not. We are like a, 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 an empty gallon that makes the greatest noise, an empty measure. <laughs> Just take it and throw it here. It's bang, 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 bang. That's what it is. It's an empty <laughs> message. Exactly. Make it the greatest place. That's all right. we look at. That's, that's just what you just said. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Okay. okay. Now, okay. Uh, <laughs> let me say that. Mr. Kagu. Mr. Kagu. Yes, Mr. Kagu. Mr. Kagu. Yes, Mr. 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 Mr. Gabo has been infected by the APC. We get for going sound this. <laughs> now, so, let's come to this. Now, to reality. Now, we found out that. Um, uh, I want to, I, I, don't, I, I just want to, uh, Tom Hamlin in 1990, I don't know which elections Christian at top. I was into uh, Christian at top and Anish uh, and, uh, Kuruma. And, 2007. Uh, 2007. And, and we see why Anes Koroma won the election. You know, sometimes history tells us all these things. And uh, until after the fact, we begin to realize, because the whole of Kailang district, the whole of the district was cancelled. So let's say it was not cancelled, then Anes would have not been a president in that country at the time. That's a fact, based on the analysis. Um, so, again, we thank God the country is becoming to die fast. Um, people are getting educated. People are looking at things, and people are moderate, as you may call them, liberal, and other parts of you know, other people. And that's what happens in, in America also. And again, the people they don't care whether my father was was a, 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 an APC, my grandparents to an APC. No, I don't think so. We don't reach that stage. Day we don't reach that stage. Day right. we still we still vote on the um, tribal tribal line most most often. Um, I, under, I understand that. I understand that. But the, the, the thing is, the phenomenon that now nah, they make people they left me now they are day, and I believe uh, uh, when Sierra Leone started, it was young and there was a lot of poverty, a lot of wealth, and those days we don't call them poverty. But compared to today, there was poverty, there was no education, there was not much advancement. 
I, I just feel it that it is wrong in that perspective, in that perspective for you, you talk today to sell it to the other younger generations than them, or even the older people who say, Mama, look me that day, that lie. The lie. The house where Mama or your grandfather left, you don't build a better house than that. Yeah. If so, well, 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 thank you very much. You don't, you don't consume. <laughs> You don't consume the 10 minutes, so just round up. All right. So, um, that's, as I mentioned, well, it has you, you mentioned that. So, um, this is what it is. So, um, um, those who are going with the idea, we are many, and when they are here, and those who think that where they live us, that we are, then you're going to stay there. And we are progressing. So, I know it's progressing in general. We think twice. Thank you. That's all I have to say. Yeah, definitely. Uh, pro uh, uh, the North is very, very progressive. In fact, uh, the, the West is actually uh, a combination of uh, both uh, uh, everybody in the country. So, but the North more is a little bit progressive based on uh, the statistics. But uh, like I said, I just want to bring these statistics for um, whoever is going to be a potential candidate for the APC. And even for the SLPP, for uh, um, Madabio, for Make You Realize, it, this, is, uh, this is the factors that go able to make you uh, it succeed. Uh, with in your own um, um, leadership. Otherwise, he's, he just by the way and say, fall, sit down, pa hammock. You know, that, that parable way people in the talk, fall, sit down, pa, pa hammock. He, 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 he no gets any kind of stability, just the swing. So now the same thing is, for, for we, we are the APC, hopefully, hopefully, we will win the 2023 election. If we will not win the 2023 election, may God forbid it, then definitely. Good luck to you. <laughs> you are not dreaming. 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 Well, hey, listen, never say never because you know what? We'll not be expected say, based on the circumstances where we've been there, uh, President uh, Anes Baikroma was very very popular in the country and uh you know the party was very very popular in the country based on the circumstances then they will not be expected madam will go win election right in fact that make we focus more on kanda yumkela even though some of women they won't say kanda yumkela is um, um a small baby uh in a giant society so let me not focus on that too much but because we've been believes him we are so popular kanda yumke uh, madam we don't beat him before with the beta again so we pull we eye out of Kanda Yum uh, Mada Bio, we put on our Kanda Yumkela. So never say never. Not uh, underestimate anybody from politics. You know, that's not a lesson we really don't learn from the time when I begin with and call politics. So we can win the election. We will not say we did as a disadvantage because number one, Mada Bio, na Indian na power, na Indian control the the the, uh, the National Electoral Commission, na Indian control everything within within they go in, within they come out. So that disadvantage they will get him, and this guy is so desperate for make sure say he do a second term. Now that make I say, if God make we win the 2023 election, probably we will go learn from a lesson. If may God forbid it, we will not win him. The 2028 election is going to be a bloodbath. When I say bloodbath, I'm not talking about physical fighting. I'm talking about about uh, a battle of ideas within the APC party. And that is going to happen if we not win the 2023 election. You know? So, Nadal, you know, I get I just want